Hi, and welcome along to AFTV Transfer Daily, the show that keeps you up to date with players that have been linked with a summer transfer move to Arsenal. The manager situation still up in the air, still not resolved. Of course, the favourite to get the job is Mikel Arteta. We've been speaking about it day after day here, but it does appear that he is still the favourite to get the job. Favourite at the bookies, and as I've said, this is a huge, huge gamble on the part of the board, on the part of Ivan Gazidis. They are staking their reputation, really, on this, because if it works out, they'd be looked upon as geniuses who knew about the skills of Arteta all along and managed to get hold of him before he ended up being the manager of Manchester City in the future. And wow, what a fantastic move. If it doesn't work out, I don't think people will be blaming Mikel Arteta because I think fans will get behind Mikel Arteta and will be willing him to do his best. The people who will start to get the blame will be Gazidis and the board. They will pick up flack, left, right and centre, Stan Kroenke, all these guys that at the moment, not the most loved people at the club and the shield's been removed, they will come in for it. And certainly there's been lots and lots of changes at Arsenal. I was looking at it yesterday, right? Just here, I was going to have to look at my phone just to remind myself of all the changes that have taken place. 11 full-time members of staff have been sacked, left or retired. It's been a complete clear out of the club. They've removed, moved on so many players. The first team, first team goalkeeping coach is gone. Reserve team manager gone. Under 23 manager is gone. Assistant manager gone. Medical staff gone. I mean, it's been a complete clear out. So they are really looking to the future at Arsenal. And that is fair enough. And, you know, I, I think, you know, that clear out's right. You know, after Arsenal Wenger being in charge for so many years, change is needed. Catalyst for change, as... Uh, Ivan Gazidis famously said. Um, but who is going to be the manager? Will it be Mikel Arteta? Or could it be Unai Emery? He has emerged today as a, as a manager that Arsenal are going to be talking to, that Arsenal are interested in bringing in. Now, Unai Emery is a guy that's got a great record. Of course, he's just left the manager's job um, at Paris Saint-Germain where he's been there for a couple of seasons. He's won everything domestically with Paris Saint-Germain. All right, they haven't won the Champions League, and that's been a real disappointment, and that's the thing that's really cost him his job. But domestically, they've won absolutely everything. And before that, Une Emery, of course, was at Sevilla, and they won the Europa League three years in a row, um, which is something they haven't done since he's left. I mean... Previous to that, he had a little stint at CSK in Moscow. He's a guy that is very, very experienced. He's still young. He's only 46. Spanish, of course. Plays brilliant football, attractive football. And surely, if he's available, when, I'm, when I saw this today, and I was thinking to myself, at the very least, Arsenal should be talking to a guy of this stature. This guy, he's a big manager. He's a big manager. I remember when PSG got him, when he first came in, you know, there was lots and lots of clubs interested in him. And he hasn't done a bad job at PSG. And at PSG, that's a job where you've got to manage under extreme pressure because it's nothing less than you have to win. All right, I know he has access, you know, when he was at PSG to great players. Um, a similar sort of situation in France, you could say, like, what, Brendan Rodgers, you know what I mean? Because you could look on it and say, well, why are people saying, oh, why Brendan Rodgers? And why are people saying, well, Brendan Rodgers is managing in, in um, Scotland and it's so easy to win. And I think it's been a bit unfair on Brendan Rodgers because I do think he's a decent manager. But Une Emery, yes, managing in France with the very best players that he's got, yes, you're going to win those leagues. Yeah, we understand that. But as I said, even before he came in there, three consecutive Europa League wins um, with Sevilla used to push the other two teams really hard over there in um, Spain, you know, in Barcelona and Real Madrid. He is a top class manager. And as I said, the style of football, everything that Gazidis was talking about, you know, being able to, the style of football, etc. But the one big thing that he would definitely have over Mikel Arteta is he's managed before, number one, and he's an experienced manager whilst being very young, only 46 years of age. 
So why not Arsenal make a move? You know, if Allegri is going to prove, you know, completely, you know, beyond Arsenal and that he's not going to leave, Unai Emery is out of a job right now. He's free. He was asked the other day, you know, if he's uh, looking to return to management and he said, listen, I'm open to anything. So if these rumours are true and Arsenal are going to be talking to him, that's the right approach. But for me, I'd be moving him up as a priority and a, a, and a person above Mikel Arteta. I don't know what you guys think, but, you know, when good managers are available, you've got you to make a move. That's, that's, my, um, that's my opinion on it. And Emery is a top-class manager. I'm just going back to the Arteta thing. There's lots of papers going with the story that they think Arteta could be announced this week. And as I said right at the top of the show, it's a gamble. It's a big gamble. Emery wouldn't be so much of a gamble because, as I said, he's a, a, an established manager. But the Arteta thing's a real gamble. But listen, let's wait and see what happens with this. But really interesting, this Une Emre um, links. As I said, experience used to working with big names as well, which I think this is going to be really important. The thing with Arteta is we don't know, you know, how Arteta would get on with the big names at Arsenal when he's got to be really hard on them. I mean, all the talk is that he's very good at that, that he's always been a leader. But if he has to go in hard on Mesut Ozil, a player that he used to play with, is Ozil going to turn around and say, well, hold on a minute, when you played it, what did you do? You know what I mean? Um, Abamian, who, you know, been off to a brilliant start, but in the past has been accused of discipline problems and that. Is Arteta the guy that could crack the whip on him and he'd really listen? Will he get the best out of Lacazette? You know, Bellerin, these sort of guys. Unai Emery, on the other hand, he's used to dealing with big names. He's had to be dealing with Neymar. He's had to be dealing with Edison Cavani. He's having to be dealing with Mbappe and getting the best out of Mbappe because it's such a big investment for them. You know, he's having to deal with all these superstar players, including experienced players like Thiago Silva and people like this. He's had to deal with the feud between Neymar and Cavani. You know, so these sort of managers being available, I don't know. I think Arsenal should be seriously looking at Emery. I'm Jack Wilshire. Now, Rumours again today that, uh, I, I remember yesterday I spoke about rumours saying that he could be, you know, on his way out and that PSG are really interested in talking to him about a deal. Um, but then there's lots of talk around today that um, Jack Wilshire will sign a new three-year contract and stay at Arsenal. I said on the show yesterday that my understanding is that Wilshire will be staying at Arsenal, that he has already agreed um, an offer and it will be announced Papers going with that today. But as I said, still rumours going around about PSG links, etc., etc. But I do think Jack Wilshire will be staying at Arsenal. I think that is a positive because, as I said, it's his boyhood club. He loves Arsenal. I've met the guy and I've spoken to him about Arsenal and you can see that he loves Arsenal Football Club without a doubt. And going forward, we need players like that at Arsenal. Players that have really got it in their heart to do well for Arsenal no matter what. So I think that's a positive. Aaron Ramsey, on the other hand, we're still unsure what's going to be happening with Aaron Ramsey. And uh, his agent yesterday came out and said that he hasn't even begun talks yet with Arsenal, which is a bit worrying that, you know, that they haven't even sat down yet and started talking to Aaron Ramsey because, of course, as I said yesterday, there's clubs very interested in him. Clubs abroad like Juventus, um, Liverpool are reportedly very interested in him and today it's emerging that Manchester United are apparently interested in um, signing him as well. I don't, I don't know if they'll take another Arsenal player after what they've seen from Alexis Sanchez so far, but apparently Manchester United are very interested in him. Now, whether these interests are real interests, whether it's something being pushed out by the agents to get Arsenal around the table, I don't know. Aaron Ramsey... Just been voted player of the season at Arsenal. 27 years of age, still in his prime. He's had his injury problems. But when he's on song, he's a very important arm player for Arsenal. And he's that one player in Arsenal's midfield that regularly scores goals. And if you can get him fit and playing week in, week out, he's definitely a top-class player. 
Um, <clears throat> we did a poll on the show yesterday and we asked you guys um, whether we should cash in and sell Aaron Ramsey or whether we should keep him. And an overwhelming 71% of you said, no, we should keep Aaron Ramsey. And I'm pleased about that. Um, because I feel I agree with you guys. I think we should be keeping a guy of his quality. We should be building on him. Quite possibly, Ramsey should be the captain of this team. That's another thing. When the new manager comes in, please give us a captain that's a real captain. I mean, who was our captain last year? Per Mertesaka. He, how, how many games did he play? Was it one or two Premier League games? And he's our captain. Koscielny was captain, always injured. I mean, every game, you just saw the armband needs to be passed around here, there. Now, listen, that just showed that Arsene Wenger never really put any importance on a captain. I think our captain is important, that you need that person that's going to motivate everybody else. Ramsey possibly could be a candidate for captain because he is ever-present in that Arsenal team. Um, but we've got to get this done. We've got to get this secured. And as I've said time and time again, if it doesn't get secured, then we need to sell cash in, make as much money as possible, and then replace Aaron Ramsey. But please, as I said, that most of you guys are saying, let's keep hold of Aaron Ramsey. Um, the centre-back position, as we know, is a big problem at Arsenal. And as I've uh, been saying since last week, um, it looks like Socrates from Dortmund is a player that Arsenal are looking to bring in. But also, rumours continue about the young player at Freiburg, Kagla Siyonku. Um, Turkish player, um, plays for Freiburg, valued at about £35 million. He's still only 21, so young, received rave reviews over in the Bundesliga last season. Could Arsenal be moving for him? There's still lots of talk that Arsenal are really, really interested in bringing him into the club. What's going to happen? Who's going to get moved out in that centre back position? Because you've got four centre backs at the moment. You've got Obviously, Mertesack has retired now, but you've got um, Koscielny, long-term injury, so we have to replace him anyway because he's going to be out for at least... We won't see Koscielny until probably after Christmas. So, and then even then, it's a, you know, Achilles injuries are always never good. You know, look what with Santi Cazzola, you know, he's been out for 18 months. So, Koscielny, Mustafi, are we going to keep him or are we going to move him on? Looks like we could possibly move him on. Then you've got Still Rob Holding and Callum Chambers. I think Callum Chambers had a good end to the season. He'll figure a lot. Holding, will we keep him? Will we loan him? Right. So maybe Arsenal might bring in two centre-backs. Socrates is looking like one they're looking to bring in. And uh, this youngster uh, as well from Freiburg could be another. But definitely Arsenal looking at the centre-back position. And then you've even got, as I said, right-back position What's happening there? What's the cover for Hector Bellerin? Hector Bellerin didn't have a great season. That's confirmed today. He's been left out of the Spanish team um, for the World Cup. So, you know, that shows you that, you know, he's just not had a good season. But he's not a bad player. And I'd love to see him under a new coach to see what they can get out of him. We're going to be really interested to see what happens in that position as well. So, listen, lots of transfer activity. Will we find out this week who the new manager of Arsenal will be? And... What about Une Emery? Let's do a poll. You know, I like my polls, right? What about Une Emery? Would you like to see Una Emery at Arsenal? Yes or no? Yes, actually, let me do it as a let me do it differently. Una Emery or Mikel Arteta? If you can have one or the two, just vote and say which one you'd rather have. Let me know. Thanks for watching the show, and we'll be back tomorrow.